Excellencies, on behalf of the Singapore delegation, I would like to express our deep appreciation to our host Romania for the excellent hospitality, as well as to the President and the ITU Secretariat for the exceptional management of the proceedings. As mentioned by many distinguished delegations before me, the strong foundations that the ITU put in place over the decades has helped many of us to pivot quickly during the pandemic. However, our global recovery remains uneven and fragile, and there is an urgent need for us to work together to support the 2.9 billion worldwide who remain unconnected. In Singapore, two key principles have guided us in our approach to harnessing digitalization for inclusive growth and to strengthen trust. First, this has to be a whole of society effort. Governments cannot do this alone, nor do we have all the answers. We need to work together with the industry, civil society, and international organizations like the ITU. Second, it is important to focus on not just the hardware, but also the software. This means providing not just access to communications infrastructure, but also taking practical, tangible actions to equip our citizens and businesses with the skills and tools to use digital technologies meaningfully, safely, and confidently. For example, in Singapore, we launched a Digital for Life movement last year to mobilize partners from the industry, community organizations, and government agencies to drive a whole of society effort to build a digitally ready and inclusive society. More than 100 partners have pledged support, both in enhancing access to the hardware, like providing affordable access to internet connections, as well as building up the software, like promoting digital skills and wellness among our youth, our elderly, and persons with disabilities. At the global level, Singapore as a small state believes strongly in the power of multilateral cooperation. To reaffirm Singapore's commitment to supporting inclusive global growth, we will be announcing in the coming month our plans to deepen international collaboration with key partners, including the ITU and the industry, to develop more capacity building programs in areas like digital transformation, data governance, and digital trade. Our priority will be fellow small states to learn from one another's challenges and experiences and to collectively support the ITU's Connect 2030 agenda and the UN Global Digital Compact to tackle not only today's immediate challenges, but to put in place a stronger foundation for our future. Thank you.